I know what it's like for a mother to not have her child, not personally, but this is Philip. This is my dear friend. We were out one night and we were robbed. We were both shot and Philip was killed. And, and Philip had a mother. Um, we're still in touch because, you know, we have a very unique bond. We, I, I was the last person to, to speak to Philip. I was the last person to hear his voice. I was the last person to touch him. I was the last person to smell him. Um, if he had been my child, I would want to be in touch with that person. Um, so we stay in touch. She's a broken woman. She has two other children, and you know they've all tried to move on as a family, but they've never, they've never gotten over that loss. I, I can't imagine that she feels whole. There's, um, there's an emptiness in her life that that will never go away. Philip is gone, but she's still his mother. And and it's an irreparable loss for her. I don't ever want to know that for myself. I don't want my friends to know that. I I just I just want children to stop dying by guns. As mothers, we have to come together. We have to fight for our rights as mothers. We have a right to take our kids to school every day and pick them up. We have a right for our children to outlive us. It's so important that we, that we keep fighting. We have to keep doing this. We have to let our legislators know that we demand action now. We have got to get common sense gun laws in this country or this will continue to happen. We will continue to lose our children.